Well, that was fun. Running into the set of police and being stopped. Uh, I think I'm going to leave that clip in there. Just edit out some of the audio for dock dropping reasons. But this is the other side of Frankfurt Transportation Center. Wow, it's glaring. <coughs> oh, look at the pink bug. Um, my run-in with, uh, with the set of police actually went longer than what you guys are going to see. Uh, my batteries died, uh, but I left my camera open and still point, pointed at, at them. And, uh, there's no real way to tell if the camera is on or not unless you're looking at the screen. Hey, church's chicken. Yellow bus. Okay, so. There you see is the parking lot that I showed you earlier. And this is another entrance for it uh, uh, to get to the trains. Okay. Now, all the way down, if you look directly in the middle, you can see like a yellow sign. Um, that's the train tracks that go um, all the way down to past Strahd Avenue um, till it hits Spring Garden. And a little bit past Spring Garden, it goes underground. There's one of the trains right there. Okay. Now for the other thing that I wanted to show, show you guys around here. So this is one of the main stations for SEPTA. Loud ass buses. But it's not their main one. It, it is one of their big ones. But it's not their main one. Look, Walgreens. Here comes an 84 pulling in. 84 drops people off there and then it circles around and picks people up. There's a 73. Oh, we have a walk sign. <coughs> okay. Let's see if I can get a better shot of this. There's the parking lot again. There's the walkway. There's where buses would go. And there's that. Okay? Now, directly across the street from, uh, um, from, from uh, Frankfurt Transportation Center is, is Cedar Hill Cemetery. Okay? This is one of the oldest cemeteries in Philadelphia right across the street from one of the more bigger uh, SEPTA uh, depots. Uh, the main gate is closed for this one. But I just want to show you guys how far this thing actually goes. Uh, 1858 to 1917 that dude's been dead for a while <coughs> across the street is a is a car lot there's a pentacle right there look at that okay we're not going to be able to see too much more on the left hand side because of all of these weeds. <coughs> a 
Wow, look at all those weeds. Okay. Now, across the street to the right of this cemetery is another cemetery. Yes, I'm jaywalking. Oh, well. This is the city, yo. We can jaywalk. This one you can get into. Okay. Uh, cemetery goes down like way far down. I have a question for people who have public transportation. Um, how much does your public transportation cost? Here in Philadelphia, as of September 9th, 2011, it is $2 for a single ride, $1 for a transfer, and $1.50 for a token. Um, the prices of the weekly and monthly uh, trans passes went up, so I don't know what they're at right now. Uh, also, I would like to know, um, does your uh, public transportation system have its own police force? Yeah, this area is weedy too. I should have walked through the cemetery itself, but I don't know if I could get out on the other side. <coughs> Look, someone graffitied on it. Wow, that's actually nice. You know what? I'll get up and get a closer look. Ah, oh, Freemasons. <coughs> and, uh, this is not all of the cemetery. But we're going to just duck into here really quickly. Because I want to check this one out. Wow, this thing's elaborate. Okay, so this is the first part of it. In the middle, it says Hess, and starting with the one right there in the center, it says Emma L. Burns, that one says John F. Burns, that says David, that looks like it says Faith. Now it says Father. says father, mother, I had to clear that off, and George W. Frederick Hess, born August 25th, 1830, died October 7th, 1892. Wow, dude, dude, dude was 16, or 62. Catherine M. Hess. I mean, not trip over the ones that are here.
we'll get the middle in a moment. This is the one on the right. That same pattern is is on the other two as well. Robert M. White. Look, Freemason. Robert White. 1837, 1834. Wham W. Mayberry. Born December 22nd, 1836. Died December 6th, 1888. Wow, a few days short. Um, it says uh, 1868. Okay. I'm sweating because it's hot. Okay. There is the back of the first part of Cedar Hill Cemetery. Look at this thing. Oh, I'll show you that, guys, after this. Okay. So, this is the middle one. We already looked at the left and we looked at the right. So, this is what this thing looks like. And yes, the Freemasons were big in Philadelphia. If you didn't know that, then you don't know your history. They're not secret anymore. In all honesty, they really weren't secret back then. My husband, Joseph Mc, McCarley. McCarley? Look at this thing. This thing is freaking awesome. Joseph P. McCartley, 1853 to 1895. That's freaking awesome. Wow, I wonder how, how much record time I actually have on this camera. I've never pushed it this far before. <coughs> Look at this building. Wow, glare. Okay, you know what? A cloud would be really nice, son. Cool, shade. Okay. How much of this can I get? That's awesome. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna stop this and start a new recording because of the next part that we're going to go to.